For centuries, humanity has worried about one pressing question. Will we have enough resources to survive? From 1 billion people in 1804 to over 7 billion in 2017, the fear of famine and mass death has haunted our collective consciousness. Yet, what if the real danger lies not in scarcity, but in abundance? Advances in agriculture have proven the Malthusians wrong. We can produce more food than we need. The real issue? Distribution. But what if, instead of worrying about what happens when we don't have enough, we ask a different question? What happens when all our needs are met? In the 1970s, behavioral researcher John B. Calhoun sought to answer this chilling question. His experiment, known as Universe 25, created a utopia for mice. Every need was catered for. Limitless food, perfect weather, no predators. But what happened next was far from a paradise. Welcome to Sapien Analysis. Let us unpack this fascinating experiment that could predict the future of human civilization. Four breeding pairs of mice were placed in this utopia. At first, they thrived. The population doubled every 55 days, filling the pen with life and activity. But as their numbers grew, so did the problems. By the time the population hit 620, the utopia began to unravel. As the mouse population continued to grow, the cracks in their perfect society began to widen. With nowhere to go and no roles to fill, the social structure of Universe 25 crumbled. Those who found themselves on the fringes of this utopia became isolated, unable to find a place in the rapidly evolving hierarchy. The once active males withdrew from society, becoming passive and lifeless, while others, dubbed the beautiful ones, spent their days in self-absorption, grooming themselves endlessly. They shunned mating and fighting, their lives a monotonous routine of self-preening. Meanwhile, the alpha males turned savage, attacking others with no purpose other than sheer aggression. They raped both males and females, spreading violence and fear throughout the utopia. Even the mothers, overwhelmed by the relentless chaos, turned on their own offspring, abandoning or killing them. Infant mortality soared to 90% in some areas, and the few young mice that survived grew up in a world devoid of normal mouse behaviors. They never learned to mate or socialize, leading to a dramatic drop in birth rates. The population, once thriving, peaked at 2,200, far short of the utopia's capacity, before plummeting into decline. Retreating to the upper decks, many mice gave up on breeding entirely, while others below formed violent gangs. Cannibalism and aggression became the norm. As the birth rate fell and violence escalated, the population spiraled toward extinction. Despite ample food and perfect conditions, Universe 25 was doomed. Calhoun called this phenomenon the behavioral sink. He saw it as a warning for humanity, a dire prediction of what might happen if our own needs were all met without meaningful roles to fulfill. Could our own society, overwhelmed by abundance and without purpose, face a similar collapse? Could our own future mirror that of Calhoun's mice? Are we, in our crowded cities and endless comforts, heading towards our own behavioral sink? The answers might be more shocking than we think. In our crowded cities, where roles are scarce and social interactions are strained, Calhoun's experiment offers a haunting reflection. The parallels are unsettling. Like the mice, we could find ourselves trapped in a cycle of violence and social decay if we lose our sense of purpose. But unlike the mice, we have the power to change our trajectory. Understanding the importance of meaningful roles and social cohesion is key to avoiding the fate of Universe 25. By addressing inequality and ensuring everyone has a place in society, we can prevent our own collapse. Subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into the unexpected lessons from history and science. Share this video to spread awareness about the importance of purpose and social cohesion in our rapidly changing world. Until next time, keep exploring.